What's up guys, Marcus here from Studio One Expert, and today I wanted to have a really quick look at a really simple but super useful trick that we can use when working with Studio One. And what I'm gonna be looking at specifically is how to do a horizontal timeline drop of audio events when you're using drag and drop from either the browser or the finder or an explorer window. Okay, so what do I mean by horizontal timeline drop? Well, in normal Studio One fashion here, as most of you know already, we can highlight audio events either in our browser or our finder window, and we can go ahead and we can do a drag and drop. And as we would do that, it's automatically gonna create all these tracks, it's gonna create the names, and it's gonna lay each one of these audio events out on a track. Now this works for normal circumstances perfectly well, but that's not always what you wanna do. So sometimes what you wanna do is you want all of these audio events over here to simply exist on one track and you want them to come in butted up against each other from left to right. Now that could be for many different things. For my personal use, it's always for samples. Whenever I'm working with samples and I'm doing editing or I wanna drag in a bunch of different kicks to addition or something, I wanna drag them into one track so that I can try them out ahead of time or if I'm programming a sample library of some sort. Now, the other thing this is useful for is for when you're working with effects and types of things. If you're doing a, you know, for instance, a radio spot where you want to addition a bunch of different, you know, phone rings or something. Okay, so enough talking. How do we do it? Well, that part's really simple. All we have to do is we're going to do a drag and drop just like we regularly would. And what I can do now, as you can see, this is respecting our snap settings, is I can just go ahead. I'm on a Mac here. I'm going to go ahead and click the command key and watch what happens. I'm gonna let go now. Click it one more time. You can see that when I hit the command key, it automatically changes from a vertical drop to a horizontal drop. So now I can drop these samples off and then I can just go ahead, go back to the very beginning here, zoom in, and now I have all my samples. They're just butted up against each other here and I can just scroll through these all just like this. So if I wanted to do any editing on these samples or anything like that, I could very, very easily do that. So it's a super quick, fast way to do this. So this is how it works with the browser. Now, like I said, it also works not just with the browser, but it also works with the finder window. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I've got a finder window open and it's got the exact same set of audio events. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the exact same drag and drop over here. And I'm just gonna drag to bar two over here. You can see that right now it's doing the vertical. I'm gonna go ahead and click the command key. And now it's gone ahead and it's laid them out horizontally. So that's a command key on a Mac. On a Windows machine, that would be the control key. And that's horizontal timeline drag and drop with audio events in Studio One. Anyways, I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.